Hello guys, this is Dr. Shivam Gesavani. This is another important topic which you should make a note of the types of joint and the types of epiphysis. Both are very frequently asked in your NEET PG exams. So I'll be telling some of the important types of joint along with the types of epiphysis which is important regarding your exam. So the first carpometacarpal joint is saddle everyone knows, knows it. Now what about radio ulna joint in middle? So the middle part is actually the interosseous part, interosseous membrane. So that part is syndesmosis. So basically two types of cartilaginous joints are there and uh, you can consider the syndesmosis as a fibrous joint while the cartilaginous uh, if uh, the primary cartilaginous joint is synchondrosis while the, uh, the, the syndesmosis is basically a fibrous joint and uh, three types of fibrous joints are there the sutures syn, uh, the syndesmosis and the uh, gomphosis that are present in our tooth so the superior radio ulna joint and the inferior radio ulna joint are both pivot but in middle it is syndesmosis now the uh, wrist is ellipsoidal metacarpophalangeal joint are ellipsoidal functionally and condylar structurally interphalangeal joint if you see between the phalanges so it is a hinge joint intercarpal and midcarpal are the plain synovial joint now other the common ones is sternoclavicular saddle another type of saddle joint the first carpometacarpal as well as sternoclavicular both are saddle joints acromioclavicular is a plain synovial joint shoulder you all know elbow is a hinge joint so this completes what is given in this table now i will add some extra points uh, regarding this uh, types of joint is uh, I have uh, mentioned about cartilaginous joint. So primary and secondary, two types of cartilaginous joints are there. So the in primary, it constitutes synchondrosis, like the joint between the epiphysis and the diaphysis, the zephy sternum also. And the secondary cartilaginous joints are present between the intervertebral disc, the pubic symphysis, the manubrio sternum, that is the between the manubrium and the sternum. Now this syndesmosis, like you <coughs> saw that interosseous membrane between the radio and line, the middle part. So, in the similar way, the tibio, that uh, the tibiofibular joint is also a syndesmosis. The the fibio, the tibiofibular joint, inferior part and the interosseous tibiofibular joint both are syndesmosis. <coughs> joint between the lamina of vertebrae are also syndesmosis. Tympano stipedial joint is also a type of syndesmosis. So this uh, completes the important syndesmosis. Now one a more MCQ, one uncommon actually, but you must know the type of joint present between the sphenoid and the vomer. Most of the PG aspirant don't know this answer, but this is very important. It is syndylysis. So syndylysis is the type of joint present between the sphenoid and the vomer. Now different types of epiphysis. So you must all be knowing the traction epiphysis, but you should know that there are four types of epiphysis. The pressure epiphysis, traction epiphysis, atavistic epiphysis, and the last one that is the aberrant epiphysis. Now the pressure epiphysis is basically seen at the ends of long bone like the head of femur, head of humerus, condyle of tibia. The traction epiphysis are the tubercles like trochanter the mastoid process, the tibial tuberosity. So these are traction epiphysis where there is pull or traction by the different muscles and tendons. Now the atavistic. Basically what the atavistic term means. These were functional in lower animals but not in us like coracoid process in the scapula, osteotrigone of talus. These are not functional in us. So they are atavistic epiphysis. Now the aberrant epiphysis, also the additional epiphysis is the proximal end of first metacarpal bone. The head of first metacarpal is the additional or the aberrant epiphysis. So I have uh, make you learn two important topics regarding your neat PG. Just revise them. You can play the video on the fast mode also. I'm, I was telling it in little slower so that you can understand.
and most people will be revising things by this time so you can uh, make the youtube video learn uh, go a little faster by increasing the speed and uh, this is dr shivam wishing you all the best and best wishes from my side okay thank you